everybody come a special place, a big football football field. And they made right and left. Who they saw somebody capable to work to the right, who was not it was older people to the left, and women who just looked well enough to work on the right side and and we, my, they sent away my mother to the left. And then my mother was, uh, I, lo- I saw a good looking, slim girl for the left. And she, and she told me, go, go ahead, go ahead, because she wanted to save us. But then I went to the gym and said, look, this is my mother, she can walk, knows everything. He said, okay, you go this way. And I saved her. And I got a little bit older, you know, I was, but still, I'm not, not old enough to go to work. And they took me this concentration camp us, and they separated the women from the men, and the children were with the mothers, and the mothers and the, and the, everybody went to work outside the concentration camp. This was wired, and the women was not allowed to be next to the men, just one hour, two hours, and they separate families, And they ask, who is a shoemaker? <coughs> who knows shoemakers? And everybody signed up at five or six. They get, they're going to make to fix shoes for the Germans. In my situation, I learned a little bit. I wished to go visit a shoemaker because, and I to watch how he fix shoes. And I learned to, I used to come home and practice a little bit. And I thought I, thought I learned something. I, I think I can do shoemaker work. When they ask for shoemaker, I said, I'll sign up. Because the young children, they do nothing what to do. And I said, I'll do something at least. I want to survive. And when they picked the shoemakers, they said, said now what do you know to do? When I start to work, I said, you're not a shoemaker. Go back. And there was a man who was a very fine shoemaker. And I said, look. Let this, this young man with me, because he didn't like to polish it. And after you finish a pair of shoes, you have to scrub it, make it look nice, and polish it, and cut them. He said, we together can make more than, than I, 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 I will. Let him stay with me. And he liked it, him to be next to me. Then I was locked up, and I sat down. It took me about a couple, a month, two months, and I was working like him. I learned how to make shoes. And one day, I looked to the window, and there came about 10 buses inside the construction camp. Red buses, I remember I used to go to school with these buses. It was red, and, uh, but the window was white, covered up. They got in, and they went to the barracks, and they grabbed all the children grabbed and throw me in the buses. Anybody of my age or younger. And all the people were there, same thing. And I looked at it, I said, there's throw. And I was afraid they may gonna take me. But I was working, maybe not. And I saw the children crying and they grabbed and throw me the buses and they, and they were so mean with them, they and panic. And I said, this is it, I cannot take it no more. But so, you know, you see your friends, my own friends were taken. I said, how mean, how, what? You have to survive. When they filled up the buses and they left, and then came their parents came from work, and they find out their children are not there. It was so panic, some went to the, to the wires and they throw themselves to the wires and was electro, electrocuted, some of them, and some was, yeah, you know, but there I said, I'm ready to die.